Hello, my beautiful Leo Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your August 1st through 15th, 2024 reading. Many blessings to you all as we move forward in this spectacular energy. And remember, this is collective. It is for all Leo, sun, moon, and rising. That's what we mean when we say collective, for all that sign. So that's your natal chart. You can have different positions of it. So if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to join you for a reading as soon as you schedule your appointment. So let's see what the cards have to say for this section of time. And here we go. Oh, we've got a time period and a six of wands. So the three of swords is my time period. Other people may use it for different things, but I was told when this swords came out and very quickly into my practice of doing tarot, uh, my guides made it very clear to me that this is the only timing device they were going to give me. Three days, three weeks, three months, third time's a charm. Because in tarot, everything is flexible and people's circumstances change. And for, from one person to another, it's going to be a little different. So in the best timing I can give you, you've got the three of swords where those three swords release the heart at the right moment and allow you to move forward with your whole heart. Then we have the six of wands. This is the energy of success through the long fought battle. You're coming out victorious. So head and shoulders above the rest. This is literally a ticker tape parade celebrating your victory. Hallelujah. Beautiful energy as we move forward in the timing and the ability to know that this will be a successful effort. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit, we have the hanged man, which is telling you while you're in a place of, of waiting, don't put it into your head that something's going wrong. We have to get out of the... Uh, well, I haven't heard anything, so that means it's not going to happen. What you haven't heard is a no. You haven't heard a no, so there's no reason to go right into it's not going to happen. If you haven't heard anything, then it's still in play. Let the universe make it work out, right? Let it let it happen. Stay in your highest frequency in the meditative mind. That's in your divine mind, your ascension energy of looking at it from a bigger perspective and allowing all possibilities to come in just because you don't know all the possibilities. You don't want to limit yourself for that. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Leo, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So there's your, it's being very poignant with the timing. Three days, three weeks, three months, third time's a charm. When I say third time's a charm, I mean third time you do something. It may be the third interview in separate places or the third interview of the same place. That's just an example. It could be many other things, but I'm just wanting you to know because I do get that question a lot. What do you mean by three times the charm? That's an old saying. There, you know, things run in threes. So third time's the charm is, a, is an actual saying. And we have the Six of Cups, which is soul family energy, really important energy because this is the support you have from the people who are part of your tribe. And when I say your tribe, I mean people who've gone through many lifetimes with you and that can include even fur babies. So you're getting all the support that you need as you stand in this timing and allow yourself to move forward and sudden, oh, nice hiccup. Boy, that was a big one. Suddenly out of the blue, the Knight of Cups shows up, which an, which an authentic offer is made. So something being extended to you with real uh, outcomes, nothing, not, not just pie in the sky stuff. That little Knight of Cups is a heartfelt offer. And there is your 
fire sign king, my Leos. That is your ability to stand in your power. When you're in the masculine, it means something fully activated and formed so that you can step into it and actually take action. When you have the queen's energy, it's something new taking form. It doesn't mean it won't come to full fruition. It just means you're at the beginning rather than at the place where it's established. This is established. Whether you're a business person or a leader at the place where you uh, work, it is that fiery energy. So get her done. That is that's what that king's motto is. And when I said queen, here comes one. And we like this queen. This is new money, new abundance, the ability to stand in that power of feeling like you have everything you need in order to secure your future as you move forward with that queen of pentacles. Now, this is earth sign queen. So it is very stable. Earth sign energy is Taurus. Ergo Capricorn. And that is the energy of being very affluent because she's standing very, very well dressed and she has the peacock to show the opulence and she's got money in hand. So it doesn't mean you have to try to find it. It's there and you're going in the right direction. So when it's time, you also had that six of rods. So now you've got the six of swords. The celebration was was happening. And now you're actually in the moment of moving forward now in what you have seized and been able to step into. So you have all the skills necessary. That's what those six swords represent, all of your skills and abilities. And uh, you have the ability to allow yourself to be guided, which means you're tuned in to what sources are there to assist you during this time as you move forward. So going the right direction, following your inner guidance, and the abundance is there. Yay, team. We have the Ten of Wands. This is the energy of releasing the struggle. How about that? How, won't that feel great? Let go of the struggle. The, it is being lifted up off of you. There is no more burden. You don't feel like the whole world is on your back. Um, that is a beautiful energy of releasing that the hardships or the feeling of being stuck. So that's a new beginning. Remember, tens are the clearing of the old. Ha! Huh. And they represent the accumulation of a whole lot of abundance because there's the Ten of Pentacles in your beautiful work life energy. Hallelujah. We will take that with a happy heart. This beautiful Ten of Pentacles is the abundance of a lifetime. And don't limit it. Don't say, oh, well, yeah, I should earn about this much. No. It's an abundance of a lifetime. That means it can be any amount. You just have to be the one who can agree with that. If you disagree that you're able to make a million dollars, then you will only make what you expect. Remember, don't limit it. The universe is unlimited. And you got the nine to back it up. So that means it is a self-fulfilling prophecy. This is a continual thing coming in, Leo. So I love that for you as that beautiful nine of pentacles is the anchored energy of it continuing to come in. Remember the mantra for this card is, thank you, universe. I know that you are continuously conspiring in my favor. You bring me exactly what I need, exactly when I need it every single time. And that is a beautiful energy of confirming that energy from the 10 to the 9 means it's still stable and it continues to keep regenerating and flowing. And the tower. The tower is change. This is the way the universe helps us to get in the unstuck energy. Sometimes something that's been blocking us or someone has been sabotaging. And this is the energy of clearing that. So it is a big change coming in. It may be changing on where you're located or how you're doing it uh, or exactly that being doing something completely different than you did before. Doesn't mean that you're getting fired. It doesn't mean any of that. It's a restructure. So it means once you figure the money out, you go, OK, well, let's restructure and make this the way we practice now. Let's make this the way we do it because this is successful. It's all trial and error anyway. So let the tower clear the way for you because it's releasing you from something that's been holding you from that highest energy and that burden that's over there. So that tower is important in a good way. And we have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is a divine healing energy. It's a beautiful energy of allowing yourself to start this new cycle. And we are coming into that lion's uh, gate moon energy sun and moon energy of the lion's gate as we allow ourselves to move forward in this wonderful energy of acceptance remember the ace of cups is a gift being given it is the holy grail it has the energy of the akashic record divine knowledge and the new cycle so we receive that 
three snaps up. <laughs> oh, yes. Receive that, please. Because that's attached to it. <laughs> Hello. Ten of cups. We love the ten of cups. It is the happily ever everything, right? The happily ever everything. All things align for your highest good. The best possible outcomes for everything. Health, love, family, beautiful energy. Just that is the, that's the card of success in all things. So we love it. Divine healing, a divine abundance. And it's telling you, make sure that you keep your, your work, your, whatever you're producing as, you know, getting paid for, make sure you're keeping the value at its, at its top quality, because what you put into it is what you're going to get in, in return. So if you're putting a hundred percent of the, the, the exact right things in it, you will get 200% in return. So we love that. Don't take any shortcuts. And the last but not least, Seven of Cups, which is the energy of the dump truck load of blessings. That is a beautiful energy, raining down abundance, absolutely in every way you could possibly think of it. Now, the only caveat that comes with this card is it's a little overwhelming because it's all of a sudden and it's just, it lands in your lap, blump, right? So it is, we, we want every single thing that comes with it, but we also know that we can't try to micromanage it. We just have to put ourselves in a place of doing a process one step at a time. And we begin with our next cards. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Now that is the abundance has already been allotted and the universe has set it in motion. The knight is your courier. Remember, we have the knight of cups here as well. So very nice energy as we begin. We've received that. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Leo sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. Here we go. All right, let's not get the, the, the woe-begones of the past. This is the energy of looking backwards and then having some remorse and kind of going into the, to the negative nostalgia. It's okay to look back at what things were before, but only do it in a way that allows you to just touch it and go, you know, I'm so happy. I am no longer in that energy and then see your progress as you have come into that now. This uh, Queen of Cups is a water sign energy, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It's about emotions, and we have to watch ourselves because she's turned toward the past, and that's why I immediately go, okay, so I have another queen in the other deck that looks to the future, so that's why this is a great combination. This is a wonderful energy of reminding you the past is not where we need to focus. It can drag you down, so, you know, don't bring me down, you know, the song. Here's the Aquarius Major Arcana, which is the energy of being very much in the limelight of your ascension. So the Aquarius Major Arcana is the star card, and the star card is your soul's desire being granted. What's my soul's desire? I don't know. My soul has made deals that I have, that my human is not aware of. So we have to allow ourselves to follow the guidance that in the signs, things we're attracted to, pay attention to what's peaking your your interest and gets your attention and dun, 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 the massive energy of this leo strength card with that offer coming in remember this is the archangel ariel the lion of god and your leo major arcana card it means walking with loyalty to the the goal that you're that you're headed for without being distracted and that is a really great confirmation to come with that knight of cups so then we move into the seeker, the hermit, the Virgo major arcana. I call him the seeker because this is the, when you're on the path and you're looking for your right steps, this is your soul's light, the chariot energy, because it is the Merkaba, which is also known as the soul's chariot. It's saying, make sure that you're checking in 
before making any big moves, right? Make sure you look ahead a little bit. And that means go into your, your higher self energy and, and see how it feels once you wake up the next day, right? Don't make a split decision on it. Just let yourself sit in the energy for a minute and see how you feel. You will be given the guidance. That is the Ace of Swords. It is a divine gift of clarity. So as you move forward, you will be shown the way. And this is also the card of victory because there's the laurel wreath right on top of that. So it is cutting through the veil and allowing yourself to move forward without all of the doubt and fear. Because now you can see and you feel it. So you're drawn to it. We have the Eight of Cups. Again, it's right on top of that Six of Swords. So that's showing you, you are going. This is, we're moving forward. This Eight of Cups is, you may now proceed. It's the energy of having earned your ability to move forward. You've done the work. You have the experience. And you've got, again, the moon, just like in this card. The moon is there showing you the entire horizon so that you can take your choice of which thing you want to go for. Oh, and I brought up the chariot and here it is. The chariot is the Cancer Major Arcana and it is the symbol for victory, fast moving victory. It's the energy of Hollywood card. It means being seen in the limelight, having notoriety or even being seen as a rock star at what you do. So yes, yes, and yes, we will take that right on top of that 10 of wands means you're coming from last to first in the blink of an eye. And Beautiful eight of rods, all this blooming new active energy coming in with that beautiful ten of pentacles. This can mean negotiation and communication. So allow yourself to not settle for less than you deserve. You are absolutely in a place where you can can put that across. And the universe says, no worries. We have the page of cups coming to remind us that the universe is infinite. Everything is always in excess and abundance. It's our limited beliefs that keep us from knowing that. And we don't want to be limiting anything with that nine of pentacles, the self-fulfilling prophecy. And that's telling you, keep yourself in that energy, knowing that the universe has more than enough. You are never in a place of lack unless you believe yourself to be. And hello, what did I tell you? The, te the tower here is being confirmed by the ten of cups. Now, let me say this to all of you who have your little, you know, things about the tower, because I used to have the thing about the tower, too. When you have a card that sometimes can swing negative, when the card that's confirming it is this positive, it's happening for the reason that you need in order to achieve this. So the tower is coming down to get out of the way so that you can align with your best possible life now. Ten of Cups is that card, and it's landing right on top of that tower. Then we have the Hanged Man again, which we had earlier in the Cup cards. This is the enlightened mind being in a place of connecting to spirits, connecting to divine. Take five minutes. Some people do hours of meditation. If that's the time they have, great. I don't know about you, but I don't always have that kind of time. Rarely do I. So allow yourself just a few minutes. You just got to touch base. It's like calling, calling a family member or a friend or a loved one and saying, hey, I'm just checking on you. Hey, we're still good. Everybody's okay. Yes, everybody's okay. And just keep moving. And we have the queen of rods, which is the energy of that newfound active resource, the power to move forward in this wonderful. So now that this energy has come to come to bear and you have it in your hand the fertility of this queen can expand it and bring it into more beautiful energy she's the fertility of your sign you have the masculine here and the feminine here and nobody's feelings are hurt when archangel michael shows up to the party king of swords libra aquarius and gemini major arcana king but it means being anchored in the valiant energy of being able to take care of business. So very much intellect and the power to get things done quickly. So we love that energy with another Ace of Cups. So this is the energy of the universe granting you approval to be able to use the beautiful energy of the elixir of life, which is the DNA of everything that is, was, or will be, Inside that cup, it is a high blessing 
being given. And you have two of them in this reading, my Leos. So what a magnificent reading for you all. I send you lots of love and light and the best success that all you all you deserve and allow yourself to move forward in this energy without restricting yourself just based on the outside situation. Remember, you're the one creating. Anything's possible. Create the best possible outcome for yourself and receive it when it shows up. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Don't forget, we have the dailies and the monthlies. Have a wonderful day. Namaste, my friends. And the weeklies.